How's it going everyone? So today we're going to be doing an installation video for this 2022 Hyundai Elantra. We're going to be doing an installation video for the tail lights. This is a very simple and quick installation you could do at home. So this is how the tail lights look before the tint is installed and this is how it looks after. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the installation. Before we put on the tint, what we want to do is we want to make sure we have a clean area we're working on. So what we want to do is we want to hit the tail lights with our soapy solution and we're just gonna go ahead and clean them. So the piece that I'm gonna be installing is gonna be for the passenger tail light. So let's go ahead and get our slip solution. We're gonna wet the surface and we're gonna get our tint. We're gonna wet the tacky side of the surface. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it in place and we're gonna line it. So we wanna make sure that the tint doesn't go over on any edges. We just wanna make sure it's barely at the edges for each. Now that it's in place, you can grab your tacky solution and you can spray the tail lights. Let's grab our squeegee and we're going to start squeegeeing out. So we're just going to continue tacking down. So this is one of the easier pieces. Once it's all dry, we can move on to the next pieces. So with this piece, it's going to be the exact same steps. We're going to hit our slip solution. And then what I like to do right away is we're going to grab our tacky solution. That way it can speed up the dilution of the slip solution. And what we're going to do is we're going to place our tint and we're going to align it right in the corner. Now that it's in place, I'm just going to grab a little bit of more tack solution. That way it could stick a little bit better. So with this piece, we're going to squeegee out all the water. And we want to get sure most of the water is removed in the edge. And like I mentioned, just to speed up the process, we're going to grab our tacky solution to get rid of most of our soapy solution. And next step is we're just gonna grab our tacky solution and we're gonna spray it on the rest of the tints. So let's grab our finger and we're gonna put it right at the corner. And what we can start doing is we can start getting rid of the water. So you're just gonna squeegee out. So the next piece we're going to do is we're going to do this outer piece and we're going to align the corners on all edges and we want to make sure that the tin doesn't go over the edge so it has to be right at the edge. So we want to make sure we have a wet area we're working on. We're going to grab our slip solution, spray it and we're going to place our tints and align it. So an easy way to align it is you want to make sure you align it right here at the corner. On the outer sides you're just going to follow the edge on all sides. And to make it easier on you, we're just gonna grab our tack solution. We're gonna spray it down. That way it stays in place. We're gonna grab our squeegee and we're just gonna set it down in place. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna grab our tacky solution. And with this piece, we are gonna have to stretch a little bit. So we wanna stretch just enough to where this edge meets the edge of the tail light. And I'm just gonna hold it there so it can tack down. And then once I have it in place, what I'm going to do now is just squeegee out all the water. And we're going to repeat the same process at the top. We're just going to align and we're going to meet the tint at the edge. Next step, grab our tacky solution to dilute the soapy solution. And again, to speed up the process, heat gun. So now that we have this piece tacked down, doesn't move, everything is squeegee out. Let's move on to this middle piece. Now let's grab our next piece. We're going to grab our slip solution. And the way we're going to align this piece is we want to align it right at the edge over here. But we want to also align it at the edge of the top of the tent, the other piece that we just previously installed. So it's not going to overlap. The seam should meet on the other seam of the tent. So like I mentioned, at the edge, it's right at the edge and then for this piece it's right at the piece of the other seam so you can see my finger is able to run through without any friction and just follow this step for the whole piece now let's grab our tacky solution we're gonna grab the corner of the tent spray it down spray the surface and i'm gonna hold it in place and then i'm gonna slightly squeegee out the water now that i have that aligned it's aligned at the edge it's aligned at the seam 
but it's not overlapping. I'm gonna repeat the same process on the other side. So we continue, and like I mentioned, we already have a tint here, and so this piece, it's gonna go right at the seam. That way your finger shouldn't feel anything, and so we wanna make sure it hits the seams on both ends, and nothing is gonna be overlapping. Because it is a little stuck, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift it up, add a little bit of slip solution. And like I mentioned, I just wanna align it at the seam. And for this piece, the edge has to go all the way inside. All right, once it's there, I'm gonna tack it down and I'm gonna do the same for the rest. And just make sure all around, it's seam to seam. It's not gonna be overlapping. Now that I have the water eliminated, the next step is I'm gonna align this lower half and I'm gonna align it to the bottom. So I'm gonna have my tacky solution on hand and I just wanna make sure everything is aligned. Cool. Once it's aligned, I'm gonna wet the surface to make sure that my squeegee glides a lot easier. And I'm just gonna squeegee down, get rid of the water and tack it down at the same time. So it should be touching all edges. And the next step is just getting rid of the excess water. Now for this piece, you might have a little bit of excess. Now we do have a slit right here on the corner. So what we could do is with a little bit of heat, just heat it and we're gonna tuck with our fingers. So let's go ahead and do that. start with this piece first and we're gonna repeat the same thing we're gonna hit our slip solution we're gonna line it up we're gonna squeegee it down and then we just repeat the same process let's grab our heat gun and we want to seal up the edge over here make sure it's not flapping down like this piece is once I have this piece aligned and everything is done I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and once we have both pieces installed, let's go ahead and start with the middle piece. The next step, we're gonna move on to this lower piece. We're gonna wet our surface with our soapy solution. We're gonna grab our piece and we're gonna install it. So with this piece, what you wanna do is you wanna align it right at the edge of the other piece and the seams should be touching. They shouldn't be overlapping. And you wanna align it right at the top of the corner at the edge. You just wanna do that for all of it. I'm going to grab my tacky solution to help me dilute the soapy solution. Just going to let it sit there for a bit, let it tack on its own. Now that it's tacked, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeegee out the water. Now once I have it tacked down, I just want to make sure everything is aligned and I just want to align it right at the edge of the other tint. And I'm just slowly going to remove the excess water. And again, just to speed up the process, I'm going to use the heat gun. Now that we're finished with the bottom piece, the next step is we're gonna work on the top piece. So the top piece is pretty simple. We're gonna align the top piece towards the middle and then we're gonna work our way out. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's add a little bit of our soapy solution. We're gonna wet it with our soapy solution. And we're just gonna place it and we're gonna align it, like I mentioned, towards the middle. And to help it stay in place, towards the middle, I'm just gonna add some tech solution. So with this one, make sure it doesn't overstretch. That way, when it's aligned, everything could be aligned. And we're gonna tack it down. And just to make sure it's tacked down, I'm gonna add a little bit of heat. Once I have it tacked down here, and make sure it's secured, we're gonna go ahead and stretch on each hand. We're gonna start on one side. So let's go ahead and start on this side first. So for this one, we're gonna add some slip solution to make sure that the tint is able to move. And this side, we're just gonna align it over here to the edge. I added a bit of slip solution for it to help me be able to position and align this a lot easier. Once I have it aligned, I'm just gonna add tack solution so it can help me keep it in place. So let's tack it down. Cool. I'm just gonna spray the surface. And the next thing is to remove the excess water. So the way you wanna begin to not have excess water trapped in the tent, you wanna make sure you start 
in the indent of the curve. So what I would do is I would run my fingers across the tin to make sure everything goes into place. Now, once I have it somewhat still, I'm just gonna remove the excess water from the middle. And if I have to wet the surface, I'm gonna go ahead and wet it. And if I need to put some tacky solution in the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, once I have most of the water from the middle taken out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go little by little downwards and first start at the edge, make sure that's tacked down and there's no water. And then now I'm gonna start removing the excess water. And then I'm gonna work my way up. Now let's move on to the other side and we're gonna repeat the same step. Now the next step is just to do some finishing touches, which is getting rid of the fingers. Like I mentioned, what you could do is you grab your squeegee and you can wrap around a microfiber towel. So what this is gonna do is the microfiber towel is gonna soak up most of the water. And you could also use heat at the same time. That way it could help you evaporate the water and the water could be eliminated a lot quicker. So that's the end of the installation. This is how it looks once it's completed. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comments down below. And if you're interested in getting the product for this 2022 Elantra blacking out the taillights, link is going to be in the description below. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one.